In this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to layer with registration marks so you're getting a perfect result each time. I'll be doing both Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. Just check the description below for the links. Let's get started. Hi guys and welcome back. This is part one of a three-part series. Uh, part one is how to turn an image into a layered image. Part two will be adding registration marks. And part three is layering our image. So to start, we're gonna go to upload image and then select upload image hit browse and our image is already an SVG file it's called a chimney it is a character from my daughter's favorite band called TS so our image is already an SVG we don't have to clean it up or anything uh, so we just hit save When I start a new project, I always like to make it really big, the size of my screen, and then resize it right before I'm done. I'm also going to insert our original image since it's in full color, just for me to keep as a reference. So go to upload. I've already uploaded it. Select it and insert image. Going to do the same with this one. Going to make it really big and put it to the side. We are going to be using the contour feature from Design Space, and it is used for you to remove cut lines. We're going to start by separating our first layer, which is going to be our background image. We're going to select our SVG, make a copy. You can either make a copy by using your keyboard, using Control C and Control V, or right click your image, select copy, and select paste. With our piece selected, our copy selected, we're going to hit contour, and this background piece, you're just going to hide all contours and exit out. You want to go to the right top menu to your layer, select the red circle and change your color to black since that is your background piece. And then you're just going to set it to the side. When doing layers for an image, I usually like to start from the biggest area to the smallest since we have already started with the background. Our next pieces are the yellow pieces. So again, you want to select your original image, copy and paste, and hit contour. Start off by hiding all contours and selecting the yellow pieces. And now deselect the background see. there it is now we're going to go back to the red circle change the color to yellow there. and now we can set it aside For the white pieces, again, copy and paste, contour, hide all contours, and select the white pieces.
always make sure you deselect your background piece, which automatically selects it when you select Hide All Contours. There it is. Change the color to white and set it aside. Now for the sunglasses, again, copy paste. The reason we're doing copy pasting instead of just working on with the first one that we did is because if we mess up, we don't have to go back and upload and reinsert it every single time. So always have an original backup what, with whatever you're working with. Like before you start working and slicing or touching, grouping, ungrouping, always make a copy of your original project. Now the glasses. Let's hit contour, hide all, select the glasses, and then the pieces in the middle. And select the background. And as you can see, it makes it kept the little lines inside of the frame because there is no line defining the inside of the frame. So we're going to get rid of that. All right, the way we're going to get rid of the inside of the glasses is by, let's zoom in a little bit. And the reason I'm zooming in instead of enlarging the glasses is because I want to keep them relevant to the same size. I don't want to change the size of my glasses since that's the perfect size to go with the rest of my shapes. So let's zoom in. We're going to go to shapes. Let's get a circle. Where it is? It's, there it is. So we're going to grab our circle, make it smaller. You can unlock the circle to change the size. And let's start with that piece. Select your circle, hold shift, select your glasses. And it selects them both and you're going to click slice. And then you're just going to click the pieces and press delete. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Let's grab another circle. Select your circle, select the glasses, and slice. Select the piece, delete, delete. You can also press the X button on the top. And you want to keep doing that. Let's do a square this time. Until everything in the middle is gone. And there we have our glasses. Now let's zoom out. Now that we're done with our glasses, let's change the color to pink. And boom them down. 
oh seems like I forgot the white piece from the bottom and this is what's amazing about the contour button is that I don't have to go and make another copy just to grab that extra white piece you can just click on it hit the contour button again and just go in and select it it doesn't delete them it doesn't make them go away they're always there for you to select or deselect when you need them now to do the hoodie straps copy paste contour hoodie strap oh hide all hoodie straps deselect background done change the color to orange They don't have to be exact colors as long as I know what uh, the closest color to my vinyl is. Let's just put them there. And to do the tongue. Change the color to pink. Alright, from here. If you hold your left mouse button and go over your image, it selects them all. Let's bring it up here. You can go ahead and hide your original. We don't need it anymore, but of course we don't want to delete it. We always want to have an original. Now just to finish it off, we're going to align it. You can use your mouse keys. You can zoom in a little bit to make sure it's right. There it is, that looks pretty close. You can go ahead and delete your colored image since it was just to uh, have as a reference or hide it by clicking the little eye button on your layers panel. Alright guys, and that's how you turn a colored image into a layered image. Don't forget that this is only part one of a three-part series. Now that you have your layered image in different pieces, part two will be adding registration marks and part three would be the actual layering of this chibi. So please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. There will be a giveaway at the 500 subscriber mark. So also stay tuned for that. Thanks.